I get on one of the volunteers at about 10 in the morning and um, basically the first job of the day is go and pick greens really, pick all the vegetables that are ready to um, try and use as fresh as possible. We always have a big green salad and it's something hot, it completely depends on what's available. But the whole point is going from the garden straight onto our plates really and you need to that as much as possible. So yeah, so then they start prepping, as my lovely friend is doing here. And I'll work around them and then basically just take it from there really. So we'll start with this is kind of standard thing to have. It'd be a big green salad which is out of the garden. I'll make a salad dressing. This is a um, broad bean kind of hummusy kind of thing, broad bean hummus really. Which again all out of the garden. I'm gonna now make I'm making a couscous salad and I'm making a potato salad which is beautiful spuds, our first crop of spuds that we've got out of the garden. Oh, well, usually we're having, it depends who else, on numbers it varies, but it's usually standard 10 people a day. There's an interface between the garden and the kitchen, where, where the kitchen um, knows what's, what's coming on and, and the gardener sort of plans what the kitchen wants, and, and that's, that's, a, that's something to manage for sure. It's pretty cool to watch what you're eating get picked an hour before you eat it, you know. It's... Currently we've got a, a guy named David who's managing the gardens and he's got an intern, Aurora from Spain, who's, who's here for a couple of months and, and they're sort of leading the volunteer team and utilising the help from the volunteers and Aurora is responsible for composting and helping in the greenhouse and, and getting the seedlings started. David is doing all the planning and, and, and really teaching Aurora and the other volunteers what he can each day and uh, it's a good exchange. Yeah. We're preparing this for some maybe some eggplants and some more tomatoes. So this is going to be our tomato area for or one of our tomato areas. Essentially we're going to put in some capsicums that will grow alongside and uh, some eggplants along here and onions are always a good good companion for those, so you might as well use this little extra space here for the onions. There's some sunflowers that have been randomly broadcast, um, so we're going to let them grow as well, see what happens. Right now we're, we've, got, we've got heaps of broad beans, um, lots of green salad greens, uh, lots of um, brassicas, cauliflowers, broccolis, beetroots are coming on, um, strawberries are starting to come on, garlic, we'll be harvesting garlic in the next couple of weeks, um, potatoes are coming on in the back and, and a few of the staples from, from our, our land here and then looking into the community for what we can find locally. I'm Nicole, I'm from Canada, this is Manny, and we're planting tomatoes. The people preparing the food in the kitchen are really passionate about what they're doing, and they're really happy to be here serving it. And this definitely has an effect on the quality of the food being created. The food not only does it look beautiful, but it tastes delicious, and even more importantly, it makes you feel amazing. Education is um, something that we're really excited about bringing more and more into the Soulscape experience and that includes the cycle from the garden to the kitchen to your plate.